the way a job description generally is tense written now is very formulaic, which is boilerplate about a company description. Here's what we're looking for. Bullet point list, bullet point list, here's how to apply. Yeah. That's that's everything in there, which there's nothing wrong with, but it's not going to perform as well as, as a job description where you eliminate a lot of that and yeah. actually speak in a voice. And I'll give you a good example. So um, I actually had a position that was just open with me for a part-time writer at 1250 US an hour, which is probably maybe 10 pounds sterling an hour at most right. part-time. So not a not a great job. Uh, I was able to generate 1.5 million views and 1,700 applicants, uh, and all I did was publish it on my personal blog. Wow. And here's and here's the reason why is because rather than say what I was looking for in terms of experience, what I said is here's what I'm looking for in terms of 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 a person. Um, I'd rather have somebody who likes Anais Nin than Jane Austen, you know. So just th- you know throwing in stuff like that, you're able to winnow down a certain level of knowledge, a certain amount of requirements, and it doesn't sound like anything else. So it's fully compliant, right? right? But just having that conversational tone, style, and it not being a bulleted list, but rather, here's what you should like, here's what you shouldn't like, here's why you'd fit in, here's why you wouldn't fit in. It not only allows a screening mechanism, but allows you to say more in a job description than you can ever get across in 250 micro sites of uh, landing page material.